Welcome back. I'm Travis with Linux Kevy. In this lesson, we're talking about networking in Docker Swarm. In the networking section, we briefly covered the overlay network. So we're gonna go and talk about it in a little bit more detail because this is what Swarm uses. The overlay network driver creates a distributed network across multiple Docker nodes. It sits on top of the host specific network and this allows containers to go and communicate securely. Docker handles the routing of packets to the correct Docker host and to the correct container. This allows us to use the public IP of our Swarm manager to go and access a service. And then it's gonna go and route that traffic to the correct Docker host and to the correct container. So for example, if I have a WordPress blog that is living on Docker host two, by going and hitting the management IP, Docker is gonna go and route traffic over the overlay network to Docker host two and then to the WordPress container. When we initialize the swarm, as well as having a Docker host join the swarm, it's gonna go and create an overlay network called ingress. This network handles control as well as the data traffic related to swarm services. When you go and create a swarm service, if you don't supply a user-defined network, it's gonna use ingress by default. Also created is a bridge network called Docker GW Bridge. This connects individual Docker daemons to other daemons participating in the swarm. So let's go and execute a Docker network LS. The second network in the list is Docker GW Bridge. As you can see, it's using the bridge driver. And we also have the ingress network, which is using overlay and the scope is swarm. Now let's go and create a new overlay network. Creating an overlay network is just like creating a bridge network. We execute Docker network create. This time we use the D flag to supply the driver and the driver is gonna be overlay. And then we're gonna go and supply the name of the network we wanna create. In this instance, I'm gonna be calling my network, my overlay. Go and list your networks. You'll see that we have the new overlay network, my overlay. It's using the overlay driver and it is scoped to swarm. By default, all service management traffic is gonna be encrypted. Manager nodes in the swarm will rotate the keys used to encrypt gossip data every 12 hours. Now, if we also wanna go and encrypt data, we need to use a special flag. We're gonna be using the op flag and then supplying encrypted. So this time we're gonna go and execute Docker network create. We're using the overlay driver. We're using the opt flag and then supplying encrypted. We're gonna be calling this network encrypted underscore overlay. Now go and list your networks again. You'll see that we have a new network, encrypted overlay. It's using the overlay driver and the scope is swarm. So how do we know if a network has been encrypted? Let's go and inspect the encrypted overlay network. Down here at the bottom, we have encrypted in the options section. And if I go and inspect my overlay, you'll see that it does not have the encrypted option. Now we're not gonna go and do this, but it's something I do wanna make sure that you are aware of. You can go and customize your ingress network. And to be able to do this, you need to go and delete it first. Going and deleting the ingress network for Swarm is potentially dangerous. If you don't set it up right again, it can cause a problem. The way we go and create a new ingress network is by using the ingress flag. And just like before, when we were working with networks, you can go and set the subnet, the gateway, as well as some of the additional options. Now let's go and create a new service using the my overlay network. Going and adding a service to a network is really no different than adding a container to a network. To do this, we use the network flag. So for this example, we're gonna be executing Docker service create, use the D flag and name the service Nginx overlay. Next, we're gonna be using the network flag and we specify the name of the network we'll be using, which is my overlay. We're gonna go and publish port 8081 over to port 80 on the container. We're setting up two replicas and then we'll be using the latest Nginx image. Go and list your services, and you'll see that we have two services running. We have one from our previous lesson, which is Nginx service, and then Nginx overlay. I can go and take a pre-existing service and add it to a new network by going and updating it. So finally, we have a scenario where we can actually use the update command. So execute Docker service update. We use the flag network add, and then we supply the name of the network we wanna go and add it to. So we'll be adding it to my overlay. And finally, we supply the name of the service, which is Nginx service. Now we're gonna go and inspect the Nginx service. And down towards the bottoms under virtual IPs, you can see that we have two different network IDs. So we're attached to the ingress network as well as the my overlay network. I can also go and remove a network from the service. Again, we'll be executing Docker service update, but this time we'll be using network RM. Then we'll be supplying my overlay and finally the name of the service. 
If I go and re-inspect Nginx service, you'll see that we only have one network under virtual IPs. Deleting an overlay network is just like deleting a bridge network. Execute Docker network RM and then supply the name of the overlay network. So I'm gonna go and delete encrypted overlay. Now go and list your networks and you'll see that it's gone. To quickly recap, we learned a little bit about overlay networks and how they function. We went and created an overlay network. We also learned how to go and encrypt data by using the opt flag and supplying encrypt. We also took an existing service and added a new network to it, as well as removing a network from a service. And finally, we learned that we can go and delete an overlay network just like a bridge network. That's all for this lesson. Go ahead and mark it complete.